It's dark, everything back. Ignition's on normal. Parallel back, condition lever's back. And cover's removed. Okay, here we go. Prop spinning, we look for 13%, two clicks. Fuel, ignition. Red dot's the red line. Click, it's off, start looks good. Disconnect GPU. Wow, just like that. Hold this one. Your oxygen mask is right here. Right. If you squeeze this and hold it in, it will inflate a big halo. Okay. Drop it over your head, let go of the red things, and it'll go and pull into your face. Okay. And then breathe normally. Okay. I'll call it if you need it. Um, all right. Avionics, oil coolers, flaps. Flaps look good. Air conditioning, cabin temp control, bleed air set, pressurization set. Turn the steering on. The steering looks good. All right, we're ready to rock. Three lights that matter.
flat set. Off. You guys yeah. want to keep that centered, so in case that something goes wrong with the autopilot in this mode, we kind of know what heading we're on, so if you just touch that, okay. it re-centered our bug, so our heading is synchronized now. Wow. Rough. Rough today. Think about it. So how are you rating that you're getting, that you said you're going to max power now? So I like to climb at around 2,000 pounds. That's actually not max power, so there's two limits you got to pay attention to. Okay. you got a torque limit of uh, 2232 foot-pounds per side, and you have a temperature limit of 820 degrees. Uh, temperature, torque. At takeoff, you run out of torque in 98% of circumstances before you run out of temperature. Okay. So at takeoff, you set for a max torque. As you're climbing, it's normally aspirated, so your torque starts falling off because the engine's making less power as you climb up. Okay. Uh, and so you keep adding. Is there any chance that it's up top if you keep climbing through 33? 677 pop up about 40 in about a minute.
Going, everybody. So today's aircraft is the Piaggio P180. It's quite possibly the smoothest flying aircraft I've ever flown. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. And this particular one we flew from KBJC, Colorado to Hot Springs, Arkansas. And it was a fantastic flight. This airplane in itself has always been one of those iconic designs and I've always been a big fan of them but I got a first-hand flight and feel of what it's like to be in the cockpit and the capability of these aircrafts perfect example is we were doing th at we were at 35,000 feet and we we're doing 454 knots for a ground speed and it's powered by two PT6s and they're rated about 880 horsepower each and 35,000 feet at 454 knots. So just kind of put that one in perspective, a turboprop. It's kind of, this aircraft, the best way to put it is, it's in private jet capabilities, but with turboprop consumption and fuel efficiency. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And the point from when our wheels transition from the ground to take off rotating speed to cruising altitude uh, you know was within a 15 minute gap and we were at our intended cruise altitude so yeah it's uh it flies as good as it looks that's the best way to put it and you'll see in the video it uh really is in a category of its own i'm a huge fan of the beechcraft starship the lawn easy and the, just the canard design and obviously this is a different completely different aircraft from what the Beechcraft uh, Starship design is, but just its overall design and uh, how it flies, and when I say it literally flies as good as it looks, it's about as point spot on as you can get with this aircraft, so I'll do a quick walk around with it, and uh, you can see it first-hand look. <laughs> 